I am Charlene Joyner and I ride for WNT. So my biggest scar is probably one that you can't see and it happened last year in 2014 in January and I broke my back. It wasn't actually a race that I broke my back in, it was a training camp with Scotland team. Uh, we were out in Girona and we were preparing for the Commonwealth Games and we were doing a tra training exercise and there was a big pile up and I ended up going over the handlebars to land on my back on a fallen bike and the outcome was I fractured the bottom three of my um, bottom three vertebrae of my back, uh, the L2, 3 and 4. My first race back was the Tour Series last year, so uh, it was about three months before I was, about, was able to go back on the road bike and cycle, but I was able to do some training off the bike after two months. I was in hospital and couldn't walk for about eight days. Uh, I had to learn how to walk again um, and just I had to manage the pain so that was managed by high <laughs> drugs <laughs> uh, and you know just it was it was pretty horrible but with a positive attitude and uh, belief that I would be at the Commonwealth Games it really helped me get towards uh, that goal and, and reach that goal and qualify, so that was really good. There was no, no, definitely no doubts that I would never cycle again. However, when I was lying in the hospital after the first night and I hadn't had results back from the scans or the, the, seat, the, the x-rays, I wasn't sure what would, ha what would happen. Um, everything was going through my head to would I walk again, things like that, um, because I couldn't feel my leg. Um, and. I didn't know what was wrong, there was doubts and things that were going through my head, but as soon as I knew the next day they said exactly what was wrong, they said what was going to happen, I was happy and you know it could have been so much worse, so I was happy that it was just going to take a few months and not years or it, it wasn't a permanent damage. I had a massive support network. Um, after my crash last year, mostly friends and family. I had the Scottish Institute of Sport, um, physio, doctors, coaches, all helping me. Um, everyone really came together. It was really nice. I got loads of flowers and cards. And it was just nice to see everyone's support on social media. And you know, it was the most important people to me were around me: my friends and my family, my boyfriend. So that was the most important thing for me. Um, I've got a couple on the elbows from, um, I think this was Bedford 3D, I think quite a lot of people have <laughs> scars from that race. Um, yes, have you, <laughs> yeah, it's quite, uh, yeah, we scar here, we scar here, uh, but they're nothing compared to, <laughs> you know, what of what. So my first race back, I didn't have any, um, I didn't have any fear, I, I just acted like it, it, it hadn't happened. Um, a lot of people after big accidents they're apprehensive and you know they, they're scared but I just acted like it didn't really happen and I've always had that kind of free spirit and don't really care <laughs> just go flat out if you do care then you're not gonna you're not gonna win bike races. <laughs>